Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll show you how to make this exact image using Python first to create the object and then Blender to add materials and render it. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so first you need to change from Blender Render to Cycles Render for better shading and materials and then click X to delete the default cube. Then open a new window by dragging it and then go into the text editor and then create a new text and then enable syntax highlighting which is to get colors in the code and then I'm going to go into the properties and make sure to increase the font size so that you can actually see what I'm writing Then go back deselect it and then let's start off with importing BPY which is the standard blender code so before we add the more advanced object, I'm just going to show you how to create a cube using code. So we'll start off with the coordinates for the vertices and uh, set up eight vertices to create one cube. So uh, let's just finish this off and then end it. And then we need to create the faces. And by typing in the different vertices together, we will create faces. For example, the first one will be uh, vertices 0, 1, 2, and 3 that we created in the line above. So we created 8 vertices and then in the next line we created 6 faces from those 8 vertices by connecting them together. Now in the next line we need to define the new mesh with the name cube and then in the second line create an object from that mesh. So my mesh equals to and then create the mesh. And then we need to create two new lines, which will set the location and the scene for the new object. As you can see, my object.location and then bpy.context.scene.objects.link, which will uh, set it to the uh, current scene. Then finally, in the last two lines, we create the mesh by combining the previous variables. And then finally, my mesh.update to create it. So let's uh, run the script to create a cube and then we can finally go on to the next step which is uh, to create a more complicated mesh from another code. So run script and as you can see we created a cube. Okay so now that you have the basic idea of how Python and Blender works together let's add a more complicated code. So click X to delete the uh, cube and then let's delete the code as well and add some new code. So uh, go to the link in the description to find this website or just copy the uh, address that you see up there and we'll go to the bottom and select the super shape 3D and copy the code. And uh, make sure to select it all, just drag it and then copy it. And Blender obviously works just like any other program where you can just click Control C and then Control V to paste it into Blender. So now you see the code with explanations. So let's open the window a bit more and then run the script. And as you can see, we have the object and now let's render it. So select it, click S to scale it down, left click to confirm the scale, and then right click below the object and click Shift A to add a plane. Then uh, left click to confirm the scale. Then let's select the lamp. So right click to select, then change it into a sun, change the size to one, and then click use nodes and increase the strength to seven to make the sun stronger. Then click G to grab the sun and click R to rotate it. Okay, so now we have the basic lighting in the scene. So let's see what it looks like in rendered view. And to see what it looks like in rendered view, you need to go down to the left and go into rendered view. And uh, now you have a basic idea of what it will look like when it's rendered. So let's select the object to add a material. So click new to add a new material and change the material to a glossy material, for example, and then set the roughness to 0.4, for example. And um, let's go into render view, shift set also to go into render view. And let's add a uh, blue color. Now the colors and the materials are completely up to you. So just uh, experiment with the colors. And then for the floor, I will set it to a glossy material as well. 
and ch change the roughness to let's say 0.3 and give it a dark color okay so now we have the uh, basic lighting and the colors so now it's time to move the camera so to see through the camera click numpad 0 and then click shift f to use the fly cam and you can move around with w a s and d just like in a video game to find the spots that you want for the camera so i like this one so uh, let's go into the render settings change the uh, rendering to gpu if you have one and increase the uh, render quality to 100 percent and then increase the amount of samples if you want the render to be higher quality and then to render the image you need to scroll up to the top and click render and the render is probably going to take a few minutes but after a few minutes you get the final result and i'm really happy with it so thank you guys for watching and i hope you subscribe and if you want to learn more about Python, you can also subscribe to my second channel, which is all about Python.